construction of the E18 highway through Oslo is the first step towards solving Oslo's enormous traffic problems. The initial stage will be two three-lane tunnels. The new road is to be built under central parts of the city. Geologically, the city is divided in two by a large Permian fault. The tunnel crosses this zone 45 meters below sea level. East of the fault are Precambrian gneisses and younger volcanic rocks of relatively good quality. To the west are Cambro-Silurian sedimentary rocks of a less competent quality. The fault is filled with quaternary soils consisting of permeable sand and gravel overlain by marine clay. At the fault, rock quality is quite poor, which meant that the Public Roads Administration of Norway, Oslo Road Department, were faced with two problems. First of all, a stability problem. The overburden was only five meters at its most narrow. Furthermore, the Alun Shale in the central part of the fracture zone has transformed into clay in a width of approximately nine meters. Secondly, there was a water tightness problem. Through the fissures along the main fault, large quantities of water could enter the tunnel from the sand and gravel above. This would lead to a reduction in the pore pressure thus exposing large numbers of buildings in the centre of Oslo to the threat of damage by settlements. In addition, stability could be catastrophically worsened since the transformed alum shale in the central fault zone would disintegrate when immersed in water. A major question was whether grouting and precast concreting would solve these problems sufficiently. Ground freezing was capable of solving both the stability and the water problems simultaneously. In order to ascertain the necessary temperature and dimension of a frozen arch, laboratory tests of frozen samples should be undertaken. For this project, such tests were carried out by Sintef Geotechnik in Trondheim. Geofrost calculates the freezing time with the help of advanced computer programs. Thermocouples are used to check that the design values are reached. The arch was designed to be at least two meters thick and have a temperature of at least minus 15 degrees Celsius. This stabilizing and watertight frozen arch was established from one side before the drilling and blasting continued from the other side. Freezing pipes will be mounted in drilled holes in two arches around the tunnel. Extra tubes are used to prevent the holes from collapsing. The freezing pipes are coaxial to allow the cold liquid to circulate. Air pockets between the pipes and the rock would delay the freezing process. Good contact is obtained through grouting. The liquid in the freezing pipes must be harmless to human beings and the environment in case of leakage because of an accident. 
Therefore, brine, a mixture of water and calcium chloride, is used. Freezing starts. Two separate closed systems are in use. Ammonia circulates through heat exchangers inside the freezing plant and extracts the heat from the brine circulating in the freezing pipes. The freezing speed is largely determined by the type of mass to be frozen but also by the spacing and the temperature of the freezing pipes. Ready. Tunneling can now proceed in safety. On this present project, it took less than three weeks to create a watertight, stabilizing frozen arch. The rock surface is very cold, but no insulation is necessary in order to complete the concreting without any problems. Geofrost has improved the old empirical freezing method. We can now offer a modern construction tool that makes underground work simpler and more predictable. Cooperation between Geofrost and Sintef Geotechnik is excellent. Sintef has all the modern equipment necessary for the treatment and testing of ice and other frozen ground materials. Geofrost combines extensive experience and specialist competence within the fields of geotechnical and refrigeration engineering. On the E18 road project, the freezing method was applied in a rock tunnel, but it might as well have solved the problems of tunneling in soils. Perhaps you too have a challenging task for us. Mm -hmm.